Damage might be fun, but it's not optimal. Right part of the runes, secondary runes, unflinching second win, that's what I do every game. Um, unflinching obviously very important for slow resistance and uh, tenacity, and um, second wind for being able to lane, basically. <laughs> You'll be eating a lot of poke over and over and over again in laning phase, so second wind kind of helps mitigate that. Um, kinda, but it's 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 mandatory. After the after they nerfed the sustain, some patches ago, that was that was a long time ago at this point. But after they nerfed sustain, they nerfed potions. I I I wasn't a big fan of of second wind in the past myself, but but the time times change and now we just have to do it unfortunately <clears throat> otherwise you can't play the game we have to mitigate our weaknesses by wasting you know rune slots in order to play the game unfortunately this is what it is Welcome to Welcome to playing D tier champions, right? Or something. S tier champions don't care about freaking stupid shit like, you know like what? Sustain? Mana? Something like that? What? What are you talking about? I build, I, I bought, I, I buy a last chapter first back, and I have infinite mana until the end of the game. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, mana problems? <laughs> like, look, she's spamming abilities for minutes straight, and she didn't even lose a lot of mana yet. She's fine. She's sitting in half. She is chilling here, being chilling, boys. <laughs> so that's the difference, basically. Now, finally, she lost a little bit because she's been spamming abilities for two minutes straight of cooldown, which is still, in my opinion, way too long, by the way. But does she even have biscuits? She doesn't. She doesn't even have biscuits for mana sustain. Please don't attack the Catan. I have my Q on cooldown, man. Ah, uh, we didn't, we didn't miss it. It's fine. to help you guys. I don't even have mana to help you out. So she did teleport as expected. I will have to sacrifice this. And there is nothing we can do about that. She might stop me. Yes, she will. That sucks. The problem is that she hits six off of this. And I might die. So... That was my bad though. Uh, I greeted with the back. I should have stayed a little bit further further to the back and I would be able to go back and it would be fine, but now because of this I'm gonna miss the cannon. So that's not, that's not good.
Mid laner seems out of field. She does not seem out of field at all. Why would you say so? She looks bad to you? I don't know. T to me, she's playing fine. PGG suggests AD carry main, but still, she's playing fine. I would say she's playing like 500, 600 LP mid laner on Ori. Maybe a little bit less, but she's she's totally fine. She didn't make any mistakes, really. She's harassing as much as she can and while playing safe. While being relatively safe, she knew that Brand was coming with the gank too, so she has vision as well. So I think she's fine. She's totally fine. In fact, I would say that she's pretty decent. I knew that someone's gonna be here, otherwise she wouldn't be freaking so close. I mean, we traded sums and, and ults, but... I wish nobody was here, man. I wish. Because I'm pretty behind. The wave was over here for a long time, so I couldn't stack at all because I was constantly afraid of, of Graves or someone being here. Because I had no vision on the map, so... So that sucks tremendously hard. It's up uh, no more. How's it going so far? I played like Faker in the first two games. So we managed to win both. Even though both were doomed, so... Pretty good. That's a shame, but there's nothing we can do about it. And this game looks exactly the same like the previous two. <laughs> but Cassiopeia is 3 and 0 with 10 CS per minute, so... It's kind of a problem. From all the games that we had today, this one might unfortunately not be carryable. I'm afraid. We try no flash. We need to do something. If if we're losing bot, I mean botlane actually is not losing, but if we're losing top this hard, then we could try to do something like you know in the mid lane at least.
No, like, I will not be moving in this game at all. Like, don't get me wrong, dude. Moving is going to be overrated. That's why perhaps we'll have to... Approach a split push angle. Job. Okay, she finally got punished. Oh, she has teleported again. I thought it's gonna be on cooldown still. Fair enough. Not enough gold for this, but I'm gonna take a reset here. I have no R. I already lost half of my health to poke. My like two abilities. Not bad at all. Cannon got the 1v1 off because she overdove him. Went too deep, so that's good. I really wanted like a plate. Champion is so balanced, but okay, this, this turret is gone, but it's fine. Too bad that Renata got the shutdown, but you know, nothing we can do about that, I guess. It's okay. No exhaust on Trist. We're gonna get Dragon off of this, which is also fantastic because that's the second one. And the soul is going to be, unfortunately, Ocean. But uh, Dragon's definitely help. Team's AoE is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, and we're not completely out of the options in this game, right? Not completely out of the options. Nice. 
I knew they were gonna try to do something that, like this. Like, I need some freaking people in here, man. There we go. Let's go, team. Dude, I play like a god today. Like, seriously. <clears throat> I can't focus. Don't jinx it. It's like, why well, I'm gonna start playing like shit? <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, it was still far away from winning this, but we're on a good trajectory. I mean, uh, Cassiopeia is going to be a massive problem. I'm actually thinking about building Anathemus, putting in her. Like, I'm serious. I, I was thinking about skipping Starx this game anyway, because they have Rel. So that's obvious, right? She can delete my shields but um <clears throat> a 30% damage reduction against her would be definitely very useful right crap ah i didn't think that it's going to reach No, I can't do it. It's surprisingly hard to get to Orianna because nowadays mages they just don't have cooldowns, so you just get perma, perma slowed and she get perma movement speed buffs and shields and blah 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 and with ult that makes it even worse, so I wasn't sure exactly where everyone is, so I didn't want to go for anything stupid here. Nice poke before before dragon, actually. I can't get into there. Cannon is not there. Can't fight that. They have no ults, but we can't fight that for sure. Imagine if Cannon freaking teleported instead of being a dog shit player, man. I mean, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No flash of Nori. I can't even see, bro. About. Yeah, that was a mistake, but apparently they just had vision here and uh, everyone was just coming. Meanwhile, my teammates are just jerking off, which is a huge freaking problem. That one mistake my, my cause does the game, unfortunately. I didn't think that they're all freaking just behind the wall, to be honest. I mean, just... okay. Ok, 
Okay, let's go. Good job. <laughs> Surpri surprisingly, the fact that Tristana ulted Cannon there <laughs> towards Cass. That was actually pretty good for us. Sorry. Like, I don't know if we can do this at this point. Is there a plant? No, frick. Crap. Damn it, man. The Jinx is gonna freaking kill everyone here, right, though? Frick. Not the best. I'm building Anathemas, dude. Stack HP, bro. Masses is so easy to kite, yeah. I walked, I walked back towards her right as she um, ulted, I'm talking about Cass. And in the end, it's not that horrible because we traded one for one, Jinx got one and she got turret here. So we have to play around Jinx and that's all there is to it. So I just need to get as beefy as humanly possible. I think that buying Anathemus and getting and putting it on, on Cass is not going to be a bad idea at all. So um, we're going to do this after that. We're going to get Spirit or something like that. I'm just going to wither Tristana and team fight and we should be fine. She doesn't have cleanse and she will not have cleanse. Cannon has flash. Not a good idea. I think it's a game. Game even with her cast, right? Because she's freaking immune for now. I thought that it's going to be to, to be a bigger disaster than it was, because Jinx died in, in the beginning. She got CC'd for 5.3 seconds, <laughs> but uh, we managed to still win somehow. Cannon actually did a pretty decent ult towards towards the end of this fight, which is nice. Yeah, I'm surprised she survived for this long, but I think uh, the damage dealers were out of the fight. Only Cass was hitting her or something? And we had a good amount of CC too, right? I mean, Rel can make Jinx live for much longer than she would otherwise live for, so that's good. Alright, I do have Anathemus off of this. So that's huge. It's actually a lot of health. 
and a lot of ability haste, a lot of damage reduction. I just need to see Cass show up somewhere. The thing is with Anathemas, I can lane, I can actually, you know, potentially match her in a side lane or something. Shouldn't be a big problem. Oh, she bought stopwatch. But then again, if she's... I mean... She's not gonna have that much damage if she just invests so much into defensive... Items. At least not anytime soon. If she actually wants to finish this, then she's not gonna have her death cap for quite some time. And magic penetration, potentially. Uh oh, careful guys. Alright, I'll be honest. Alright, she still lives somehow. But that is Jinx's fault. She was kind of out of position there. I should just not ever leave these guys though, I guess. me. I was hoping you see where I am. I was hoping they saw where I am, man. That was not the case. They could totally try to rush the Baron here. They totally could. Cass is in bot lane, but she can just teleport. Okay, they're not gonna start it. Nice. I think they maybe had an opportunity. They were a little bit decisive. Alright, I'm not even leaving. I'm just gonna stay next to, to Jinx at this point. Alright, Rel being dead is huge for us, by the way. They don't have what it takes to lock us down now. That is huge. He's with her? Huge. That's free. That's literally free. Now. Come on, man, let me get the cannon. <laughs> Is she, isn't she full build? Oh, not yet, but... Dragon 27 seconds. Fine, that's free dragon potentially in him or something as well. We're gonna delay Cass's death. That's also not going to be necessarily super bad for us. No, Cass, I have 30% damage reduction. Sorry, but that's just not gonna work. Hopefully. Oh, it almost worked. <laughs> She, she still almost got me, but <laughs> it's fine. She wasn't far off, actually. She wasn't that far away. We 
got this soul. Soul will help. It's nothing special. But... It does. Make you tank here. That's GG. That's GG. Should be. We have Baron. We have Soul. We have my ult in 20 seconds. And the death timer's at 30. Well, this game wasn't as clean as the previous one. For me, I made two mistakes. One mistake, realistically speaking, here. Got him, boys. I guess there was one mistake in laning phase when I just when I um, greeted the back. I could just back a little bit, you know, a further. There's like could it could there are improvements to make, but for the most part it was was pretty good. Uh, who do we honor? Definitely Jinx, right? Jinx was pretty good for the most part. I got only 22 for this game. What the frick? What the hell, man?